In this video, we take you through getting on and off a tandem. And I'm Chelsea, and I'm here with John. We will approach the bike from the same side. In this case, we'll use the right side. This is the safest side to mount on. First of all, the captain makes sure the stoker is at the rear of the bike and has their left hand on the seat or on the handlebar. Then the captain gets on the bike. Be sure you put your leg over the crossbar between the seat and the handlebars, not behind your seat or else you can kick your stoker by mistake. Now straddle the bike with both feet on the ground and firmly engage the brakes. Safe to get on. When you have the bike steady, you can tell the stoker it's safe to get on. So I'm gonna approach the bike from the same side as the captain, which in this case is the right side, and I'm going to lift my left leg over the seat and I'm going to mount the bike. I'm gonna position myself comfortably on the seat and place my feet on the pedals. Now pedal backwards a little bit, just making sure first that I notify my captain so they don't get bumped in the leg. I'm gonna position the pedals in the starting position with the left pedal slightly up and forward. And I'm of course gonna make sure that I put a bit of pressure on those pedals to make sure that it's easier for my captain when we start. Now the captain is ready to launch, but we'll learn more about that later. Now to dismount, you do everything in reverse. The captain stops the bike, slips off the seat, straddles the bike with both feet on the ground, and locks the brakes. Once the bike is steady, you okay, can tell the stoker dismount. to get off, and on which side. Usually it's the right. Remember, the captain always gets on first and off last. And now that we've gotten you on and off the tandem, we're ready to get you rolling. <laughs> 